All right, guys, so we're back with a brand new video, and I'm going to show you guys how to create mutations so we can update the prefix as well as the default role or any data really from the React application. So how do we do that? Well, first, we need to actually create a couple of mutations. So we're going to go inside the mutations folder, and we're going to create an index.js file. And we're going to do the same thing with our queries. We're going to import GQL from Apollo client, and then we're going to export const and then we'll call this uh, update guild prefix mutation. And this will equal to GQL. Whoops. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and start off with mutation. And I'll call this update guild prefix. And then we're gonna take in two parameters this time, the guild ID, which is a string. And we need the prefix, which is also a string. Okay, it makes sense we need both of these because we need to know which guild we're updating which prefix for. Okay, so now we need to make sure that for the mutation, like for the actual mutation name, it matches the actual backend's mutation name. So if you look over here, we have a mutation right over here called update guild prefix. It's case sensitive. So we need to make sure that this field name as well as this one match whenever we call it. So update guild prefix. Okay, and what we're going to need to do, whoops, is we're going to need to first pass in the parameters. So guild ID, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna to need to next pass in the parameters. So guild ID is going to have the value of whatever dollar sign guild ID is. And then likewise, prefix is going to have the same value of prefix, just like that. And it literally looks exactly like the mutations that we made in the past couple videos when we were making the API call or not API call, the GraphQL call to the server. Okay, from the actual GraphQL user interface to the actual GraphQL server. Okay, so now this is going to, remember it's gonna return a guild config type. So we're going to just ask for the prefix, guild ID. We don't really need to ask for everything. All right, and we'll do the same thing for the role. So update guild default role. And I'll do update guild uh, default role as well down here. And instead of prefix, we'll just call this default role. Same thing over here. And then update guild default role or update default role. Sorry. Remember, it has to be the same update default role. So actually, you know what? I'll just, I'll leave it like this for now. I'll leave it like this. Update default role mutation. All right, there we go. And yeah, everything looks good. So let's exit that. And let's go into our dashboard page. Okay. Okay. So now how do we actually make the mutation call? All right. Well, the dashboard menu is this interface right over here. And we have these two buttons. Whenever I click on these buttons, it's going to invoke the function that we passed in as props. So right now, the only two functions we have passed in as props are update prefix and update role. So if I go inside dashboard menu, you can see that we have these two props and they're being called whenever the on submit event is triggered, which is triggered whenever we click on the button. Okay, so whenever these functions are called the update prefix and update role, it's going to call whatever function that we passed in. So update prefix will actually call update guild prefix parent. And likewise for update role, it's going to call update default role parent. So we're going to make the mutation call right inside these functions. Okay, now to actually make the mutation calls, we're going to need to use the use mutation hook. So this is actually going to return an array. And we're going to pass an update guild prefix mutation. So that's going to auto import. Remember, that's coming from here. And the array is going to contain two values. It's going to contain, well, the first value is going to be the function that we're going to call to actually make the actual mutation call. So we can call this whatever we want. I'm going to call it update prefix. The second parameter is going to be an object that has the data, but I don't really need that. So we're going to leave that alone. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and instead of calling update guild prefix, remember this is coming from the API.js uh, file. We're going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to call update prefix and it's going to take in an object with a field variables 
And it's similar to how when we made the query with the uh, arguments, when we pass in the variables, we're going to pass in the guild ID. So that's going to be match.params.id and the prefix, which is coming from prefix right over here. Okay, now update prefix actually returns a promise. So we can actually await this. So response, so wait. And then we can console log response just to make sure everything's good. So let's test this out and let's see what happens. So let's do this, or sorry, that. And we get some data. And there you go. Our prefix was updated. Let me refresh and we have our updated prefix. Let's do it again. There you go. Perfect. Let's do the same thing for uh, the default role. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of all this. And we're going to do the same thing const update default role use mutation update default role uh, was that imported up the default role mutation okay glad i named it that way all right there we go so that was imported from here so i can just get rid of these because i don't need them anymore all right so we're going to try catch i don't know why i didn't have a try catch before we should have it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to say const response equal await. And remember, update default roles a function. Okay. It's going to take in a couple of variables. So the same thing, guild ID match dot params ID. And then uh, it takes in default role. Okay. I should have called it something else, but it's fine. Default role, role ID. Okay, and let's console log response. And now let's actually update the default role. So let's do that. And it's saying bad requests. So I'm not sure why that's the case. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I literally can't believe I forgot about this. Okay, sorry. This should be default role. And yeah, instead of returning prefix, we can return default role instead. Okay, so the problem was this part. Okay, I knew it was something wrong with the query or the mutation. Let's test this out again. So let's do Discord bots. There we go. It was updated. And if I refresh, it should show Discord bots. Good. So that's going to be pretty much it for the whole GraphQL part with the whole mutations. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.